I was expecting a bit of bitterness, but this coffee uh, did not have it. Good blend, very, very good blend, and definitely would recommend it. Well, first drink, it's uh, smooth without any bitterness. It's very smooth, somewhat refreshing. Well, maybe after the two, three drinks, it's smooth. It loses the boldness of the coffee and uh, start tasting snap after a while. Because this mixed reviews, the caveman coffee. I personally enjoyed it. it it's a it's a smooth, non bitter flavor. I, there's no other way I can explain it. The texture is kind of flat, and I know that some of the guys that I handed them the can, that's kind of how they felt. They were like, ah, I don't know if I would get this again. But me personally, I thought it was one of the better nitro brews that I've bought. Coheed and Cambria. Uh, well, I don't even know where to begin. Shout out to Axelito. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just because you know the backstory, but I've been following their career for a long time I want to say I was in the 10th or 11th grade when I first heard of them. I was given a CD uh, And uh, it, they weren't I guess the kid who gave it to me was like this band Shibuti and I was like whatever I was still listening to commercial rap. So I like to me I, I would any any other genre was just white boy music <laughs> at the time you know i feel like so ignorant to to even thinking that because it just opened my mind to so much music but i remember following them at like listening to their album like this is such a crazy like it just to me it just blew my mind just like the lyrics and everything and then i finally got a hold of the hardcover editions so the first and second album or the beginning of the second album, and it just psh, gone. I was just blown out of the water. I listened to those albums, and it was like listening to the album for the first time again. So I, I feel like if you've never read any of the comics, you're doing yourself a disservice because it just puts everything together. And I do hope and I wish that somehow in the creative universe, they get a show or either on Netflix or because I don't even think you can expand that world in a movie. I feel like it needs to be a series. Shout out. If you guys need an extra, I'll be in the back. I don't even have to be on camera. I'll sweep the set. That's how much of a fan I am of this storyline. I moved to California and I saw they were going to be playing at the Riverside Auditorium and I was like, I don't even care if I lose my job. I need to go see them. I've been following them for so long and I've never gotten to see them. What a show that was. Then I seen them at the Palladium by myself. And they just killed it. And the Greek theater, you know, this is what you're going to see now. So enjoy. I got goodies, bro. I got goodies. What's up, that hangover you had yesterday? Yeah. Oh, total massive. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, show, show it the CC, Coheed and Cambria, Caveman Coffee. What's up, bro? Oh, wow. Yeah. The good stuff. It's weird. It's kind of like a watery type, but. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's good though. I like it. Yeah. Cheers, Ma brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Mike is meeting us at the Greek Theater. Jill, we picked him up after he dodged my calls for like <laughs> an hour. This isn't the first time. I have proof that Jill has no good, like, no sense of time. I've asked him multiple times. Hey, one day before I started this channel, I asked him one day, "Yo, can you come and help me film?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll be there." All right, six o'clock. This guy don't show up till nearly 11 o'clock. And he didn't, we didn't even film anything. He's just there messing with my radio. I got proof and I'm gonna show it. Did you print your tickets out or are you gonna scan them off? No, I have I have physical tickets. Oh, you got physical tickets? Yeah, yeah, bro. What you think this is, bro? Look. Bro, we. It says not valid on mobile device, must print on paper. Nah. Getting directions to the Greek theater. Oh boy, look who it is. 
What's up, player? What's up? What's up, dog? Hey. hey. Crack it like a homie. What's up, Mikey? $40 parking, bro. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Something down the lines of that. Man. I'm like, ah, oh, I got too late for Carlos yeah. is coming up right now. <laughs> yeah, traffic was gnarly, huh? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> mocha was kind of speaking to me, but. Nah, the mocha's good. Mocha's good. Caramel's pretty good. like itchy right now <laughs> like i want to go run or something <laughs> it works it definitely works this is not a fan of the flavor no nah, i just don't like the flavor it tastes like water to me yeah like i wouldn't if i needed it like i need to get going i'd drink it again but if i was going to look for it for taste no absolutely not <laughs> i wouldn't do it I told Jill to be here like, I don't know, maybe like six o'clock. It's 1130 at night and he just showed up and now he's not even trying to help me out. He's over here trying